Uh, look, we, we are back to pre-6.30 in the morning sunrises. They're going to come back tomorrow. There's a little uh, milestone. Ski Country is going to do fine on Friday. You know, we're talking about showers tonight, tomorrow. Up in Ski Country, it's going to be 1 to 2, 1 to 3 inches of snow. And, and, and so that means everything's great up there for the weekend. And 11-hour daylight returns on Sunday. 11, 11 hours, that's pretty good, right? So, I mean, we're, we're making progress here. Now, temperatures, you're right. It's cool right now. It's 17 degrees at Bedford, 19 at Norwood in the 20s and Boston, very similar to yesterday morning when you walked out the door, maybe not quite as cold in all spots. And now instead of looking at clouds that are going to be drifting in off the ocean, there are just some pockets of clouds left over, but we won't be adding any more off the ocean today. As a matter of fact, the wind is getting ready to shift around a little bit um, as we wait for what is going to be milder air that's waiting in the wings. Yesterday, I told you that Chicago was starting in the mid 40s, which is pretty warm for this time of the year. Now Cleveland is doing the same thing. So there's the warmth. The red line is a warm front, the leading edge to that warmer air that's going to come at us. Now, admittedly, on the front edge to that warmth, you are going to get some mixed showers in for tonight. Not for today. This is lunchtime today. You still have sunshine across a lot of eastern New England. Notice your temperatures either side of 40 at lunch. Headed to a high temperature in the low 40s. And with a pretty light wind, it's going to feel pretty decent at dinner time. Or maybe shortly thereafter, before. It depends on what time you eat dinner. But 630 this evening, uh, it's still dry. Here comes the mix into Hartford. It's into Worcester County by the time we get to about 8 or 9 o'clock. And coming in toward Boston. But it's very light. And the temperature's above freezing. So it's mostly raindrops. We will get some snowflakes to mix in in the Worcester Hills. And certainly into central and southern New Hampshire. But even by this time tomorrow morning, look, we've gone to rain all the way up to Concord, New Hampshire. Concord points north may still be snowing and actually stay as snow showers during the day tomorrow, while the rest of us deal with a period of rain that comes through tomorrow through midday. By late in the day, you're going down to at least what will just be some leftover scattered showers, and then the cool, dry air returns heading into the upcoming weekend. So the forecast for snow for tonight and tomorrow morning really has not changed. You still have to be kind of northwest of Worcester to get a coating or up through Manchester. Then you've got an inch when you get from Barrie to the north and west on the north side of the Quabbin. Uh, you got one to two coming up through Berkshire County. And this is what I mean about northern New England, ending up with probably about a one to three inch snowfall by the time all is said and done. So again, kind of recap on today, you come into the lower 40s, that feels pretty good. Fitchburg could hit 45, the Cape won't because you're surrounded by 39 degree ocean water. Overnight tonight down to the 30s and to round out your week tomorrow, high temperatures up into the 40s. Here's the extended forecast again, a cool but fair winter feeling weekend. And then here comes the warmth. The rain or a snow shower overnight Sunday night brings it in and into the 50s. And whoa, look at Wednesday next week, pushing 60 the way it looks right now.